Thank you, Jesus, for everyone who clicks on this video. Holy Spirit, speak to me and speak through me in this video for who this video is intended for. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, I had a very interesting dream last night. Um, and in my dream, it was like a it was like a girl. Right. And she was like pretty much like around my age, you know, young and she was real, real discouraged about the views on her video, like the views on her videos. She had just started her um, YouTube channel, to my knowledge, and she was very discouraged. Like she just started her journey um, on social media. And I guess um, in the dream, she was like sharing the gospel. Um, and I noticed that a lot of people um, care about their views. Like a lot of people care about views. I noticed that people will make memes and be like, oh, I only got 200 views on this. And a lot of this stems from comparison and jealousy. And jealousy is of the flesh. It is not of God. And if you are comparing your views and comparing yourself, it, it, it'll only allow envy and jealousy to creep in because now you are comparing yourself to what they are doing and you're projecting yourself on what they could be doing and you feel as though you deserve what they deserve but you don't even see the work they put in or why they are blessed like that in the first place you know what i'm saying god blesses things different there's a different process for everybody right there are christian channels who literally took off like soon as they start posting about god they took off you know what i'm saying and then there are other channels that are that were slowly you know they, they they started getting a little views here and there and then out of nowhere it took off but it took them a year or it took them two years three years you know it's a different process a different grind for everyone you know god has a different story for everyone a different testimony for everyone so everyone is not going to be the same so in this dream she was very very discouraged and i told her i was like hey I'm like, I'm not getting a lot of views on my videos right now. I told her that in the dream. I was like, I was like, I used to make really content. And I got a lot more views. I was like, in a, in a year, I had seen a lot of growth when I was making worldly content, a lot more than I've seen in the, like, what well, I don't know how long I've been making Christian content, but consistently I've been doing it for a few months, but I've been doing it overall probably like eight months or something like that. I don't know. And I, and I told her that in the dream, I'm basically like, you know, when I was making worldly content, I was getting good views. You know, if you scroll all the way down, I deleted all my a lot of my old videos, but there's about four, you know, old videos that I that I left up on this channel just so you could kind of see like where I was at and just how I'm, how I've grown, right? And on those four videos, shoot, one of them got like 130,000 views, one of them got like 30,000 views. You know what I'm saying? Then one of them got like 2,000 views, and another one got like I think seven, eight hundred. You know, those are pretty decent views, right? And the reason that I even have like 2,000 subscribers is not from my Christian content, but from my worldly content. But I changed this channel, I changed the name, I did all that, and I told her, I was like, hey, you know, I'm barely getting any views. I was like, you just gotta work, you gotta grind. I told her, I was like, you know, it's a grind, like you gotta keep just being consistent, being consistent in posting. And we actually seen somebody that was famous, right? We seen a rapper, a famous rapper's daughter, and she has a YouTube channel, you feel me? I've even watched her YouTube channel before, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, with my OG and stuff. And I seen her in a dream. And I actually said, what's up to her? And I was like, I was like, me and my mom have watched you before. You know what I'm saying? And she started laughing in the dream. And then that was that. And then the girl that was, you know, like I said, that's posting Christian content in my dream. She was like, man, I need to ask her how she gets so many views. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, she's a whole completely different person. Her dad is a whole rapper. She's not you right so as as christians as as believers we need to get away from comparing ourselves to worldly people and comparing ourselves to anybody in general you should want to be and strive to be like christ that's the only th that's the only person you should compare yourself to you shouldn't compare yourself to me you shouldn't compare yourself to, to your leader you shouldn't compare yourself to any prophets that you know any deliverance ministries that you know nobody compare yourself to, to who you were yesterday and compare yourself to Christ. That's the best thing you can do. That way you won't develop jealousy and envy towards people who are doing bet, quote unquote better than you, okay? A lot of times people that you believe are doing better than you really aren't as much as you think they are, right? So that's why it's just really important to just worry about yourself um, in this instance. And see, God wants his people 
to begin posting about him and to begin, you know, sharing testimonies and sharing things that he, revelation he's given them. You know what I'm saying? Because he's called like and, and the Bible says in the end times that men, that young men and, and women will have visions and dream dreams. And, I, and it's a lot of you guys who are dreaming dreams and having visions, but you aren't sharing them. And also. He revealed to me that there are a lot of people who basically have started the thing, like started posting about him and then stopped out of discouragement because you're getting one to two views or you're getting a uh, hundred views here and then 50 views here and then 30 views here. And you're just like discouraged, feeling like you deserve a thousand and more. You have to be consistent in God. You have to consistently work on your relationship with God and those things will come. God says in his Bible that he would that he will bless those who diligently seek him. I say this scripture a lot. I say that it says this in the Bible a lot because it does say it and because it is very true. And I believe the scriptures and so should you. You know what I'm saying? In 1 Corinthians 14 and 12, it actually says that our gifts are to edify the church and that we should strive, we should desire um, spiritual gifts so that we can actually edify the church. So with that being said, your gifts are not for you. The gift that God has placed inside of you is to edify the body of Christ. The gift that God has placed inside of you is to bring unbelievers to Christ. The Bible even says that we should strive for the gift of prophecy. Now, everybody is not a prophet, but every single believer can desire the gift of prophecy, ask for the gift of prophecy, and have a um, prophetic gifting and with that being said prophetic gifting according to scripture can bring non-believers or outsiders of, the, of, the, of christ to christ because they will see that god is with you and you can actually look that that scripture up for yourself i don't know it off the top of my head but you can find that in somewhere in corinthians i know that for a fact you know what i'm saying because i've been studying corinthians heavy lately so your gift is literally um um supposed to be used for the edification of the church and to bring unbelievers to Christ. And, and if you are not using your gift out of discouragement, out of comparison, then you will be judged on this. You will be judged on this. Okay. It's just like the parable that Jesus told. There was a master. This is the parable. There was a master that gave five talents to one servant two talents to another servant and one talent to another the one with five turned it to ten the one with two turned it to four the one with one hid and buried his talent that is what many of you are doing you are hiding and burying your talent that god wants you to use and you will be judged on this the parable goes on to say that the master came back he was pleased with the with the uh, servant that turned the five to ten. He was pleased with the servant that that turned the two to four, and he blessed them abundantly, gave them more uh um or more land or more talent, so some around those lines. He told the the one the one that went and hid his one talent and didn't multiply it. He told him, he said, "You are a wicked servant," and I think that I believe that he cast him. Um, into prison or into hell one of those that's how the parable goes literally and you can compare that to a person who has the talents from god the gifts from god and does not use them out of fear out of comparison out of jealousy envy and out of discouragement right and god will judge you on these things and you don't want to be judged on these things because he has called us on the earth to you know bring people to christ um to walk in our authority and to use our gifts. That's why the Bible says that many are called, but few are chosen. The Bible also goes on to say that um, broad is the way to destruction, right? And narrow is the way to righteousness, right? Narrow is the way to eternal life, right? So it's, it's stricter on us. We have to make sure that we are working out our salvation with fear and trembling like the Bible says. Because if you don't fear the Lord, then you are going to miss the mark. Because you aren't going to feel that sense of urgency to act on the gifts that he's given you. You aren't going to feel that sense of urgency to stop sinning. You aren't going to feel that sense of urgency to go to, to the Lord like a child and about everything. And to pray continually and to fast and to turn away from your sin. And this is a dangerous place to be. When you are like this, this is when you are considered a lukewarm Christian. And God says that he will spit out the lukewarm Christian. So you need to be hot or you need to be cold. And you need to find out what God wants you to be doing in this season. 2023 is going to be a very interesting year. And if you aren't in right standing with God, you're going to get lost in the sauce. So I suggest that you repent 
and that you go before the Lord and find out what it is that you need to be doing in this season. There was a young lady who actually hit me up um, on Instagram, okay? And as we were DMing, it's like God was telling me that she struggles with her confidence. She struggles with her confidence. So I asked her, I said, hey, do you struggle with your confidence? Are you lacking in confidence? She said, yes, she said, she told me that she was. And I told her that God wants you to go deeper. I gave her 2 Timothy 1 and 7, for God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Told her to meditate on that scripture. Told her to pray and ask God for the strength, right? And I told her that God wants her to go deeper and God wants her to start sharing revelation that she receives because she receives deep revelations in her dreams. She sees deep things. She even told me about two dreams she had about a famine coming very soon. OK, and we see a lot of, you know, prophets speaking on famines coming. And I told her God wants you to start sharing these things to edify people, to teach people, to help people. The more. The, the more people speaking on these things, the better. You know what I'm saying? The more people being used by God, the better. Because it's just only going to draw more people to Christ. So hopefully, you know, she takes heed to what I said. If not, you know, that's on her. I did my job. I planted the seed. Now it's, now it's up to God to bring the increase in her life, right? You know? So that's all that it is. He just wants us planting seeds and you leave it up to him. Even if the person doesn't act on it, even if the person doesn't do anything with the information, it doesn't matter. Just know that you have a clear conscience because you did what God has called you to do. If you are not doing what God has called you to do, then you cannot have a clear conscience. So I'll put everything that I just said in this video into perspective, repent and go before the Lord and go and, and get into your Bible. You know what I'm saying? Get into your Bible because that's where you can really find God at. John 1 14 says the word became flesh through Christ. So to really learn Christ, you got to learn his word.